Hey, I'm Kathleen Jordan. Welcome to K10 News at 6. And I'm Tom Crespo. So far, most of the attention for next month's election has been on the race for president, despite what it seems that won't be the only race on the ballot. But when voters in Oklahoma head to the polls, they'll be asked to weigh in on state question 777. It's been called the right to farm bill, and it's a growing controversy. K10 Sarah Williams spoke to people on both sides of the issue today. She joins us now live in Carter County with more. Sarah? Tom, if it passes, state question 777 would create a constitutional amendment that supporters say would help protect farmers and ranchers from unnecessary regulations, but opponents say it goes too far. Sam Barrick is one of thousands of people across Oklahoma for who farming is more than just part of their livelihood. It's their way of life. He believes the right to farm bill will allow them to continue to run their farms as they see fit. Farm Bureau, uh, Port Council, the Cattlemen, uh, American Farmers and Ranchers, everyone is supporting this, that you know, their livelihood is agriculture and they care about it. Barrick and other supporters of the bill believe it will protect them from environmentalists and other outside rights groups who might convince lawmakers to create regulations that could harm their farms sparking produce and meat prices for consumers. We don't have the, the backing or the deep pockets like some ad, you know, uh, activist groups might have. They have lots of reach into places that, that we don't really have access to, and our, and our farmers and ranchers need that extra protection. Among other things, the bill would give farmers and ranchers the right to use ag technology and make use of livestock and ranching procedures. Who best to... Uh... To know how to do that than the local farmer and rancher. Opponents say the wording in the amendment is too broad and might make it impossible for lawmakers to regulate the industry at all. No other business or industry in the state of Oklahoma or any other state is protected in that manner in the Constitution of any state in this nation. Making it more difficult to protect animals and natural resources like water. It allows agriculture to continue engaging in new practices, new procedures, new chemicals, new herbicides, new pesticides that may not today be regulated. And we would lose the ability to regulate those in the future. If the bill passed, with a simple majority, it would be added to the Oklahoma State Constitution and could only be repealed by another vote. Voting will take place on November 8th. Live in Carter County, Sarah Williams, K10 News. Members